What up? This is Shan and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Ari. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Anya. Hi. What up? Hey, this is Shan, and this is Cozy Woman Podcast, and this is episode 85. And today we're going to talk about little helpers. Little helpers meaning our little people that we created and gave life. Um, they're going to get to an age where they want to help you do the everyday things, and I have some things that uh, you can allow them to help you to do, because we need to make sure that they grow into independent um, Adults, yeah. Meaning, at a certain age in your life, I need you to get up out of my house and be able to do for yourself. Yes. My bad. This is episode eighty-four. I don't know what I was thinking. Continue. Bye. <laughs> something good to share so we have vintage beauty 86 by a good friend of mine from college um she created a brand for making kids clothes customized kids clothes she picks crazy good fabrics um and she customizes kids outfits um, she can do boys outfits she can do girls outfits they're really cute cute prints I've seen her post the cutest um, glitter jersey skirts and dresses and boy and girl outfits so if you're looking for something cute for your son or your daughter and you want something custom made she can make it you can get the measurements it would be the best thing you've ever seen you'll have the cutest picture i don't know if you're a parent or a aunt or an uncle and you just want to get something cute for someone's kid give her the sizes it's a three-week turnaround you can find her on facebook vintage beauty 86 or you can find her on ig vintage beauty 86 also www.vintagebeauty86.com cute kid clothes pretty colors i mean she posts um the cutest outfits of these little kids in these clothes and little jackets and dresses and you know when it's like halloween i'm looking forward to like what outfits these people are getting when it's valentine's day is coming up so if you're looking for something cute um for pictures or if you have like little babies and little cute outfits and you want like bows that match and you want dresses and you want pants sets look her up okay vintage beauty 86 cute stuff cute stuff tell her shan sent you bye So your kids eventually are going to want to help. I think um, to build up a child's compassion and a child's uh, habit to help without being asked to help, you have to start them young. And, you know, it's up to us as parents, as caregivers, as grandparents, as aunts and uncles or older cousins to teach our kids the way to um, wash their hands before they touch anything in the kitchen, to wash their hands and, um, you know, get themselves cleaned up and dressed. And, you know, while you're brushing your teeth, brush your teeth, clean your mouth, wash your face, clean between your eyes. Every other day you should be cleaning out your ears, but supervise them as they do that. Also, when after you brush your teeth, make sure there's no toothpaste in the sink. Like all these things, We have to start teaching our kids while they're young. So um, when they grow up, it's like a natural habit for them to do. 
You know, we have to be the role models of what responsibility is in order to tell them to be responsible. And when they do things, as they're learning them, we should praise them. But eventually, we have to stop praising them on the things that they should do automatically. Because when you when you become an adult, you don't get praises for things that you should automatically do or you're supposed to do. And we have to get them to a point to understand that I'm never going to praise you being 10 years old and you brush your teeth today. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. That's just an example. <clears throat> um, rewards for doing chores, I don't think after like eight year old, they need rewards for doing chores. This is your home, just like it's my home. You just don't work and pay bills to have it. I do. But at the same time, because you live here and you use things in this home, you should clean up. Right now, my child is five, and she gets the dustpan and um, the broom, and she sweeps the living room. Um, you know, she puts her bowl in the sink. She, after she's coloring, she puts her things away. Um, when I tell her to clean up, she cleans up. She cleans up under the bed. She could put her clothes away in the right drawers. So those are, like, things I allow her to help me to do. Um, she tries to put groceries away, but because she doesn't do it like I want her to do it, I just leave it up to me. And we have to provide some type of routine or structure when it comes to what they do when they get up. After they eat, what do they do? Um, a certain time of the day, the TV is off and you need to find something productive to do, whether it's writing, drawing, or um, reading a book. Um, it's nine o'clock. What happens at nine o'clock? So we just need to get them in the habit of that. You know, young kids can wipe down tables. They can, um, clean windows. They can help you sort laundry. Uh, they can hand you the phone. They can bring you things. They can, uh, I don't let her load the dishwasher because I really don't use a dishwasher. Like I actually like washing dishes. Um, I don't need her to vacuum the room because my house now we have wood floors uh she does organize her closet because i have things where they're supposed to go so she does know where things go when it's the bathroom she knows she needs to make sure the rugs are fixed make sure she closed the um shower curtain you know when she uses the bathroom she knows she needs to wipe herself flush the toilet toilet close the toilet lid and wash her hands with soap dry her hands and uh yeah so she knows what she needs to do and then her sister is one so she sees you know what she does and she wants to wash her hands too of course I help her um and she knows like when it's time to brush our teeth it's like a group thing we're all brushing our teeth at the same time um you know we don't leave a room a mess and go to another room and that's something I'm trying to get them in the habit of doing. Like, we're not leaving messes everywhere. Um, she knows, like, Sundays is when I may make, like, a bigger breakfast. And I may do laundry. And I may, like, tidy up a closet. Or right now, I'm, like, sorting through my desk and throwing away a lot of paperwork. Um, she knows, like, oh, today must be Sunday. So, like, today is an off day for them for school. It's President's Day, so by default, I have to be out of work. Um, so I'm home with them today, and I'm just sorting through a lot of stuff. I'm cleaning their um, car seat covers. Um, I'm organizing my closet, and I'm going through Anya's closet to iron her uniforms for the week. So I exercise habits with them so they understand that certain things have to get done even when you quote unquote don't have to do anything and you show them how I get it done you show them how to wash the dishes you show them how to clean down the counters you show them what you do with the pots after you finish cooking with them you show them that you need to wipe down the refrigerator and you need to sweep under the couch and you need to sometimes clean the carpets and you need to clean off the table and you show them that there's a way to keep the things that you have they don't just stay clean by themselves and I allow my kids to, well, Anya, because she's five, allow her to get dressed, um, allow her to pick up her, pick out her clothes sometimes. Um, 
And I have certain alarms for things, and we strive to be on time for things. And when my alarm goes off, I end up like, oh, it's time for us to get in the car. Or it's time for us to um, drop off such and such. Or it's time to go pick up this. So she understands my alarms now. Um, Aria, she understands what noise coming from my phone is all night. So I think as long as we as parents get them into a habit of being responsible and being honest and treating their things that they have with respect, even though they don't buy them, and we're going to have well-rounded kids when it comes to responsibility and them helping out. And if you want to, try not to do it now and try to do it later and see how hard it is. It's easier once they're able to go get things and do things for themselves to teach them how to help out. It's way easier. Like, Anya can unload the dryer for me. Um, She can help me take things out of the car. Uh, She can hold the door for me. She helps um, her sister get up and down on, you know, curbs and steps. Um, She can lift up Aria and bring her to me if needed. You know, she helps out. She can bring me Ari's wipes, her diapers, whatever. She can bring me my bag. So those are things to look forward to if you spend the time to teach your kids to do things. And we all need little helpers. And little helpers when your hands are full. And say, for instance, I'm changing her sister and I need like a little trash bag to put her dirty diaper in. She knows where the trash bags are in the kitchen in the drawer and she brings it to me. Like, certain things you just need little helpers for. And little helpers are little blessings. And the best part of it is that they're yours. And when my friends have them, I'm sure they enjoy having one that's old enough to go get things and one that's not. So, little helpers, I think um, everybody should start treating them um, as little people that can help out and have some sort of responsibility and um, reward them with healthy treats um not trash food please and uh i don't know teach the babies teach the babies my name is shan and this is cozy woman thank you for listening bye good night good night good night good night